What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming with my special guest, Durf the Cat, my little deaf kitty right here. And we are back again to talk about another My Top 5. There you go. You gonna help me out with this video today, Durf? Hmm? I think he's walking around for food. Anyway, this week we're gonna go over the Wii. Now I know a lot of people were excited for me to do my 6 through 10, or rather what I'm actually going to be doing is 6 through 12 on the Nintendo 64, and that will be coming soon, but I'm working on some ranking and uh, honorable mentions for that video. So we'll do that one next week, but like I said, mm, yes I love you too. With that for this week, we'll go over my top 5 favorite Wii games. This was the game that I kind of started getting into, and I really have a whole bunch of the big heavy hitters, but I've really tried to focus more on like the hidden gems and just the console, like the games that no one's really heard of. So hopefully that's somewhat reflective of my list. Anyway, let's jump right in. Number five. Yeah, I'm talking about hidden gems, and what's the first game I bring up? Disney, Epic Mickey. I actually was very surprised by this game. I like the way that they did it. How you like, you know, add paint, remove paint. Just a uh, kind of puzzle platformer game. All in all, this game's actually pretty fun. And the best part is, this is actually a game that my oldest daughter enjoys playing with me. So, hey, game that you get to play with your kids, can't beat that. So, number five, Epic Mickey. Number four. Thank you to the Retro Collective group. I forget exactly who sent this to me. I don't remember off the top of my head. But Donkey Kong Country returns. Pretty much take everything that made the original Donkey Kong Country series great. Remix it. Put it for the Wii with Wii Motion Controls. Got it complete here. I mean, hey, it's Donkey Kong. Can't go wrong. As long as it's not that Congo Bungle Jungle. But, I mean, yo, hey, if you're into music games, well, then maybe that one's worth playing. So, if you enjoy the original Donkey Kong series, I recommend this one. Though it has slowly started to climb up a little bit in price. I think it's creeping towards like $30 now, so. My assistant's trying to get my attention. You guys seem to enjoy having my little co-host here, Durf the Cat. My little deaf friend. He's getting old on me. But that's okay. Are you good, boy? You want to say hi to the nice people you want to talk today? No. I guess he's not feeling very talkative. Sorry. Anyway, we'll continue right along. Number three. Spyro. Hey, my GameCube list when the Spyro game made it. Here we go again. I randomly just ended up picking this off up as a splurge. Like I saw it for like 10 bucks when I was down in... Uh, Columbus, Ohio, doing some game hunting, and I just saw the game. I'm like, you know what? This game looks kind of fun. Also complete. And then, got it cleaned up. Pop the game in. I'll show you guys the back. And I was actually very pleasantly surprised. I don't want to spoil any of the story, but I think the story's kind of cool. Quite fun. So, if you're on a Spyro, or just you enjoy the character Spyro in general, get this game. Pretty fun. And it actually, it's still relatively cheap, as far as I know. If I'm mistaken, tell me. Continuing right along, you're probably wondering, where's the racing game? Well, you know that I had to have one. Second best game on my Wii list, Mario Kart Wii. I wouldn't say that this is my favorite Mario Kart in the series, but definitely enjoy this. Shout out to 123 Gamer Man for sending me the case. I actually have this in the console right now. Was running some time trials. Eventually, I will actually feature this on the Time Trial Tuesday. I keep meaning to, but as you guys know, if you've been watching the Time Trial Tuesday episodes, I've been featuring other games, I'm trying to show you guys some games that I've really played recently. So, second favorite game for the Wii console, Mario Kart Wii. Now, quick note here: I do not have Mario Kart Galaxy. I had that game for the longest time, and ended up giving it to a friend. So, and I just game's gone up in so much in price, I just said, you know what, maybe someday I'll buy it, maybe I won't. And I don't bother getting um, Zelda Twilight Princess because I have it for the GameCube. 
and I played both versions, and I personally think that the GameCube version is better. So, but Mario Kart number two. Now, let's get on to some honorable mentions for the Wii. Same as we always do, we'll do these in alphabetical order. First one, Puzzle Platformer. Speaking of hidden gems, this one's definitely it, called Mushroom Men, The Spore Wars. This game's just strange. But all in all, pretty fun puzzle platform. You start off as like a little fungus spore, and you gotta solve your way and platform around and, you know, various puzzles. So if you're looking for a good fun puzzle platformer that probably not a lot of people talk about for the Wii, I suggest getting this one. If you're looking to collect for the Wii, I don't know. I started to, and then just kind of got busy collecting for the Super Nintendo again. Next one up. Let me make sure I do these. Yeah. Fighting game that I actually really enjoy in the Wii. Soul Calibur Legends. I myself am a big Soul Calibur fan. I like Soul Calibur 2. I like Soul Calibur 4. Soul Calibur 6, obviously, you saw on the PlayStation 4 ranking. So, honorable mention. If I had to pick, I'd probably put this one at, like, number 6 on my Wii ranking list. I think it's pretty fun. Makes perfect use of the Wii motion control hack and slash. So, it's not, you know, your typical button input for a Soul Calibur game. But, still a fun console. One that I really enjoy. One more honorable mention, and special shout out to Old School Games and Stories, who we did a trade and he sent this one in. I didn't even know this existed until I did some research. That is Speed Racer from the original cartoon. I guess this game's kind of like NASCAR. Unfortunately, I haven't sat down and played it enough. I've had it in the collection. It's been busy playing other games. Probably play too much Splitgate. I really do, but oh well. I enjoy the game all the same. So, thank you again to Lyndon. Yes, kitty. Yes, yes, yes. I know. You want some pets? Keep bad. You guys can't see it, but he keeps bet my arm. Oh, I think you can see his tail. Murphy. There he comes. Anyway, third honorable mention, Speed Racer for the Wii. If you're looking for a fun racing game to get on the Wii console, highly recommend this one. Also got it complete. And let's go one more, number one favorite game. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, this game's absolutely amazing. I feel like it's a slight step down from Super Smash Brothers Melee. It's a little bit slower, but I enjoy the characters that are in it. I like how they added like Wario and some of the other Fire Emblem characters. Sonic's obviously in here after that April Fool's plank that they pulled about him supposedly being in Melee. But thoroughly enjoy this one. Melee is still my favorite Super Smash Brothers title, but I like this one as well. So there's my top five, everybody. In fact, we can even say top six. Go like this. Got them all right there. Soul Calibur Legends, Epic Mickey, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Spyro, Mario Kart right? was backwards, and of course, Super Smash Brothers. So make sure you stay tuned for next week. I will be doing my six through 12 on the Nintendo 64 collection. You guys all see, whoop, whoop, whoop. Guess he did one up. Guess he doesn't want to say bye. Well, for me and myself, thanks for watching everybody. Until next time.